and I desperately would like to keep him as cheap and not lose him to a municipality that is quite literally just across the street. Some Milwaukee leaders speaking out as the city could lose their acting police chief. That's our top story today at 5. The president of Milwaukee's Common Council is urgently calling for acting Milwaukee Police Chief Jeffrey Norman to become the city's permanent chief. All this comes as the Wauwatosa Police and Fire Commission have announced that Norman is one of three candidates being considered to take over as Tosa's new police chief. Fox 6's Angelica Sanchez with more on this latest development. Angie, what have you learned? That's right. Sources told us yesterday and Tosa officials made the announcement today. Acting Milwaukee Police Chief Jeffrey Norman is seriously being considered to take over the Wauwatosa Police Department. This means the city of Milwaukee has some big decisions to make in a short amount of time. With each passing day, the idea of ousted Milwaukee Police Chief Alfonso Morales returning as Milwaukee's top cop is becoming more of a possibility. Especially now that Wauwatosa's Police and Fire Commission named acting Milwaukee Police Chief Jeffrey Norman one of three candidates they are considering to take over as Tosa's Chief of Police, a scenario his supporters are trying to prevent. I desperately would like to keep him as chief and not lose him to a municipality that is quite literally just across the street. Common Council President Cavalier Johnson feels Norman is the best man to lead MPD. I think the best move for Milwaukee is for uh, Jeff Norman to be named uh, permanent police chief. Two weeks ago, a judge ruled Morales was denied due process when he was demoted last summer. The judge gave the city a deadline of 45 days to reach a settlement. Failing to do so would give Morales his job back as chief of police by the first week of July. Fox 6 reached out to the Morales legal team who say as of Thursday, they have not heard anything from the city in regards to a possible settlement. How soon would you like to see some movement on this? Uh, uh, yesterday. Johnson is urgently calling for the city attorney and the Fire and Police Commission to sort out the situation, even if it requires a settlement. To make sure that we don't lose somebody who is as talented and as dedicated to Milwaukee as Jeff Norman is. Norman, however, may not be sticking around to see the outcome of the judge's deadline. While he has expressed his desire to lead MPD in the past, he is now a serious contender to take over another police department, one with a clear hiring timeline. Johnson says he and several of his colleagues are going to do all they can to keep him here. Now, Tosa's Police and Fire Commission also released a schedule over the next two weeks on their hiring process for the position of chief of police. By our estimates, they could actually make a hiring decision well before the city of Milwaukee reaches the deadline to make a decision on the Morales case. Live outside Milwaukee City Hall, Angelica Sanchez, Fox 6 News. We know you'll continue to follow it, Angelica. Thank you. Now, here are the final three candidates for the Wauwatosa police chief besides Jeffrey Norman. There is David Salazar. He is the captain with the Milwaukee Police Department. And James McGillis is the current, uh, current Drug Intelligence Center for Wisconsin as part of the National Overdose Response Strategy.